Hey guys, happy Sabbath. It is January the 28th, 2023. And I want to come on and show you some confirmation of something that I've been praying about and seeking the Father about. And I want to run this by you guys because this is probably something you may not have heard before. And um, of course, if we've learned anything over the last several years, it's to think outside the box. Everything that we've been taught and, and directed to believe we need to lay that at the Father's feet and ask Him to show us what He means by things that we have been told by man that means something else. Okay, so this is a video about the fifth commandment. Now, I always understood that the first four were in reference to how we are to love the Father, how we put Him first with our heart, mind, and soul, and that the remaining six were in reference to man and how we are to treat others and how we're to love and, and treat others as ourselves, right? And so um, I've come to a recent understanding, and I may have mentioned this in my video about the Holy Spirit, and um, this has been going around in my mind ever since I made that video months ago. So I just wanna bring this to your prayerful consideration and ask you to just listen to what the Father is showing me and and ask him to confirm this for you. Okay, so we're told in the fifth commandment that we're to honor our father and our mother, that our days may be long. Now, that is the only commandment of the 10 that comes with a promise. Have y'all noticed that? Many of you probably have. So we know that there are many layers of meaning in the scripture. And uh, the surface reading is just the first layer. Like, that's why the... When you read scripture, um, you see different things reading the same verse that you might not, not have noticed before. So it just is an indication of the different layers of depth to the scriptures. And so the surface reading is just the literal interpretation of that verse. But there are many layers to it. So one of the things that's always confused me a little, sorry about that, is that Yeshua says in Matthew 23, 9, that we are to call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. So if Yahushua is saying that to us, to not call any man on earth father, then we know he is not going to contradict our heavenly father at all. And so... I take that to mean that our Heavenly Father must have been referring to Himself in the fifth commandment, to honor your father and your mother. Especially when Yeshua says, call no man father on the earth. So is that just a reference to our earthly parents? Or is there something deeper? And if it's something deeper, then who is our mother that the fifth commandment is referencing? Now I want you to go look in Proverbs chapter 9. Okay, we've already, I've already shared with you that there's a promise that comes with the fifth commandment that your days may be long. Now, if you are reading most of Proverbs describes wisdom and describes wisdom as a she, but in Proverbs 9 verse 1, wisdom hath built her house, she hath hewn out her seven pillars. Now, I believe that's a reference to Isaiah eleven two 2 that describes the seven spirits of Yahweh. All right, they're all described in Isaiah 11, 2 there. And so she has hewn out her seven pillars. This is the Holy Spirit. This is wisdom. She hath killed her beast. She hath mingled her wine. She hath furnished her table. And it goes down, you can continue to read on down to verse 10, which says, The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Now look at verse 11. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. Who is me? Who's the me that that verse is referencing? That is wisdom. That is the Holy Spirit. Okay, so if the Holy Spirit is who adds years to your life when you get her, then that would explain the promise of the fifth commandment to honor our father and our mother that our days may be long. I see Proverbs 9 11 
as a confirmation that the Father, Yahweh, and the Mother, are Ruach HaKadosh, are the Father and Mother referenced in the Fifth Commandment. So, Yeshua is addressing the surface reading. If you go look in Matthew 15, 4 through 10, he is addressing that surface reading of the fifth commandment to the Pharisees. Yes, we're to honor our earthly parents, but they're supposed to be a reflection of our heavenly father and mother. Okay, and so when Yeshua is talking to the Pharisees in Matthew 15, 4 through 10, he's talking about honoring their earthly parents. But he brings it back to the deeper meaning of that commandment in verse 8. When he says, you honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. So he's bringing it back to the Father in his discussion with those Pharisees. Yeshua also asks, who is our mother and our brethren? This is found in Matthew 12, 46 through 50. He describes our mother and our brethren as those who obey the will of the Father. Now, does that mean that those with evil parents or orphans that have no parents at all are exempt from keeping the fifth commandment? I would argue no, they're not exempt from keeping that commandment because the deeper meaning of that commandment is to honor our heavenly father and our heavenly mother. So they are still bound to keep that even though they may have evil earthly parents or no parents at all. So fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. We're told that in Proverbs 9.10. Then let's say that you do fear Yahweh and you begin to keep his commandments and you gain wisdom. And this is also reflected in John 14, 15 through 17, where Yeshua says, if you love me, keep my commandments and I will pray to the Father and he will send you the Holy Spirit. Okay, we're told that this, there's a process to this. All right, so let's say that you do begin to fear Yahweh and you do begin to gain wisdom, but then you blaspheme the Holy Spirit. And I believe you can do this just by diminishing her value in your life. You don't, you don't acknowledge what she is doing to lead and guide you and provide instruction for you. You diminish her value in your life. I believe that can be Blaspheming the Holy Spirit. There's many things that people have used to define that word blaspheming, but it ultimately comes down to that. You just don't give her credit <laughs> for the things that she's doing around you, right? And by and through her. Okay, so this, this is the only unforgivable sin, is blaspheming of the Holy Spirit. And according to Matthew 12, 31 through 32, we can't be forgiven if we blaspheme the Holy Spirit. So, so since no sin enters into heaven, then blaspheming the Holy Spirit, our mother, is eternally detrimental. We must honor both our father and our mother. And we love their son and we, we have our faith in Yahushua, the father's only begotten son. And he says, if you love me, you're going to demonstrate it by this way. You're going to keep my commandments. And this is driven home also in Revelation 14, 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are those that keep their faith in Yahushua and the commandments of the Father. And it's not in that order, actually. Here are those that keep his commandments and their faith in Yahushua. All right. So honor the Father. Love him. Fear him. Keep his commandments. Honor the Son. Love him. Keep his commandments. Put your, all your faith, trust, and, and hope in him and his love for us and what he did for us on the cross. But if we dishonor the mother, we could lose it all. I don't mean to make that sound like it's all based on her. We know that Yeshua is the only way to the Father. But there is a process to this walk. And it is begun by fearing the Father, by loving the Son, keeping their commandments. And then we gain wisdom and we begin to walk and we, we seek out that narrow way. And by the instruction and help of the Ruach HaKadosh, we stay on it. <laughs> We're convicted immediately of sin and we repent. We seek instruction and guidance. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Meaning lean on the wisdom and understanding that he provides for us through the Ruach HaKadosh. 
Acknowledge him in all of our ways and he will direct our path using the Holy Spirit. Our mother, may Ruach Hakadesh. So the deeper meaning of the fifth commandment is a reference to our heavenly father and our heavenly mother. Honor them, obey them, love them, and years will be added to your life. That's a promise. Happy Sabbath, and may you all seek him in all that you do. Have a great day.